positive note. Thank you. This lady needs to be allowed to ask a question. We had her hand up for five or ten minutes. Right here, right here in the front. Sure, I'll take the question, of course. I and several others have been to the Capitol, Tallahassee, visited with you here and there. I have been to Tallahassee on numerous occasions, lobbying against Common Core. Before all that happened, I visited with Elizabeth. She said she was for Common Core. She's part of leadership. Leadership was for Common Core. As part of leadership, you supported it, and then you changed for the CD19 campaign. And you decided to co-sponsor. Thanking you, I went to Tallahassee to see if I could help and thank you for changing your opinion. Well, what you said was that you worked behind the scenes and you didn't want us to do anything except maybe go to the bill's author. As the state senate majority leader, you should have been able to get at least one hearing in one committee if you have any strength at all in the legislature. Can you explain how you did not get a single hearing in as the sitting state majority leader against Common Core? Well, thank you. That's uh, Chris Quackenbush. She's Michael Drycorn's campaign manager. Uh, so it's oh, finance, I'm not his finance director. Manager. Sorry, not finance. Anything. She's his finance director. Um, just so we're aware of the relationships here. But I, I continue to say the following. My voting record and my stance on issues has not changed. Despite the fact that I hold that position as majority leader, when the Senate president drew a line in the sand and said that bill will never be heard in the Florida legislature, I had the courage to stand up to him and say, I'm going to do it anyway. And if that one action is the catalyst for more people having the courage to sign their name against the Common Core bill next year, well then so be it. I'm ready to work. I'm ready to work to do what needs to be done to help our kids and to protect our kids. Not to point fingers, but I stand ready to work with Ms. Quackenbush as I have, I have articulated to her many times. It is going to take a solid group of folks who will fight together to make the changes that need to be done. And I stand ready to do that today, tomorrow, and always. Thank you.